Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the Holy Dice Kingdom, in which we are now finally going to start building our newest area, and especially the poor region. And I say that especially because I don't know why, but so many of you wanted homes in the poor section, specifically. Not quite sure why, but... Because of that, I am actually considering extending the poor section just so we can have a few more hovels and maybe a few cottages so it doesn't look really, really over overly simplified. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down some... Where are you? Some bridges over here. This way, the rich folk don't have to brush elbows with the commoners so they can go this way instead. And then we'll put a new gate there, and then what we'll do is we'll extend the poor region over to here, and then connect it like this. So it's still very clearly segmented, but it's a little bit more spacious. There we go. So what I'm thinking is in the poor region, perhaps a lot of... You know what? I'm actually considering, I've just changed my mind there mid-sentence, a lot of stuff which might normally reduce happiness but we simply don't care about right now. So maybe adding something like one of the charcoal makers and then a couple of hovels next to it. The hovels, of course, will be upset. It will lower the overall happiness of the Holy Dice Kingdom, which is actually really low right now. It keeps on doing that for some reason. It keeps on setting itself lower without telling me what actually caused it. But um, yeah, the happiness always springs back and then it stays that way for like hours. So whatever, I suppose. There we are. Then we'll put the road in here. So, do I keep this or not? This does separate the dock. Which is pretty nice. Now, I would put a wooden wall here because, you know, it's the poor section. But the problem is then, the rich people would have to gaze upon this foul wooden wall. And their safety would come into question. So I think still we should have the castle block. Oh, I know what we could do. I know what we could do. Double stone gates. Because nothing screams um, rich and poor divide like a double locked gate <laughs> with a double thick stone wall. But then remove this one because otherwise we're going to run into the issue we had earlier of just not enough space. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's all we're going to do. Oh, this will hurt the overall happiness of everyone because hovels themselves are kind of terrible. Well, not so much a happiness, but they are just kind of terrible. Leave that there. Destroy this. There we go. And that will be the poor region as soon as I've separated it all. And that should give it enough space as well. I want it to look cramped though, there's the thing. Although we're not going to have much space, I want buildings without clear roads, which again, less happiness. Maybe one well, just I want it to scream. This is where Lathrix puts people who he doesn't really like. Now, speaking of people I do like, hello island dwellers, how you doing with your boats kind of hitting each other? So what are we doing over here then? Uh, right now we are just extending the piers, aren't we? Now I like to do that because it's a nice easy way to figure out just how big the island is so we can plan our buildings accordingly. How's food doing over here? Minus 14, okay. Well that's fine. We have the... Oh, that's why, because everyone's building and no one's actually using the aqueduct. Ah, might need to change the job priority there. Um, where are you? Aqua Engineers. That sounds so much cooler than it is. <laughs> if Aquaman suddenly went into the engineering um, trade. There we go. Aqua Engineers. Just so that's first. So we have the food production and stuff nice and high up there. Builders are actually higher up than farmers and... Ooh. Well, no, I want that. There we go. And archers at the top, since they're only on occasionally. Same with the ballista operator, who currently is meant to be offline. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Only in times of great peril should the people stop farming, essentially. Merchant! Nothing. Okay, no idea why I sang that then, honestly. I'm in a good mood today, actually. That's why I'm in a good mood. So, it's a weird reason, because it sounds really bad, but I've really hurt my back. <laughs> like, really badly. I actually had to go to the doctors. I was briefly mentioning it on Twitter. Um, I was lifting... Where are you? 
I was lifting my tortoise's tank because I needed to move it to the other room because the power socket was acting a bit weird, which has now been fixed, by the way. And when I was putting it down, I sort of slipped and I tore my back. I've tore a muscle in my back, which really bloody hurts, by the way. And because of that, I went out to the doctors and I felt to myself, you know what, I need to do something to cheer myself up. Which apparently now includes coughing, which I probably just cut out. So I ended up just basically having the day off, which is quite rare for me. No YouTube, just not focusing on anything really. And honestly, it did wonders. And I've also got a new pet, which has cheered me up even more. In fact, I've got two new pets. One which is mine, one which is my fiance's, which is two spotted fire salamanders, which are adorable. So overall, had a day off, went out, explored the world, and it's amazing how much that can do for your morale. Okay, I want a hospital there, straight away in the rich section, I want a hospital. People here need good healthcare. I think I'll just put manners along here since I can't really put much else. Ooh, or I could put the church straight away here. Now, it seems mean, but I want the church to cover as minimal area as possible in the poor section. <laughs> oh, I want them all to be like, not rebelling levels of unhappiness, but not happy. They're not very keen on this part of life. So there's perfect, isn't it? Look, it fits wonderfully. We can even, and then what we can do, similar to what we've done before, so put the church there. Then next to it, we can go ahead and put down the library. So this area doesn't have to be overly efficient. It just needs to have all of the commodities. So it needs a church in range, it needs a hospital, it needs a tavern, it needs a town hall, everything possible to make these people happy. Actually, a town hall maybe there would be nice. Yeah, that'll cover everywhere. Also, let's remove that rock. Do we really want this quarry? You know what? It sounds really weird, but I'm actually going to remove the quarry. Well, the potential quarry, the usable stone. We just don't need any more stone right now. It's so easy to get stone with what we've got. And as we expand, there are other sources of stone. This just so happened to be in a bad position, and it's not really worth it. <gasps> Ember Island, why are you not maximum happiness? What happened? Well, here's a festival. No, but seriously though, why is your happiness not maxed out? It was when I left and nothing should have changed. Ah, it looks like someone's died at some point, so maybe the plague happened over here. No, because then it would actually set- there we go, training towards 100. But is that just because of the plus 15? Yeah, I think it is. Um, why are you not happier than you were? I don't know. I'll come back to you later. Either way, you're still very, very happy. But I wanted you to be max happiness is the thing. Yeah, okay. Food's back to normal over on that island. That's great. This all being built. So let's put down the manors. Want all these along here. I feel like... These would be very popular places to live. Because you have the wall on, on all of the sides. That must be very secure. Sadly, a cottage will need to go here. But we'll just pretend it's an extension to that one. Now, how am I going to do this? We don't actually need a road for the library. There's the thing. So I could move this to the side and then put the tavern there. Ooh. Oh, well, first of all, a dragon. Um, there's a dragon. Oh, coming right over here of all places. My least protected area. Uh, turn on everything. Okay, there we go. Thankfully ignoring the new area, which is not the only area which is exposed in the slightest. Please don't land on something. Okay. You destroyed nothing. Well done, dragon. That's the way it should be. Yes, yeah, so I could put the tavern here, but then it's blocking this manor, which I don't think would look particularly good. I don't mind having some areas with nothing in them. It's not very efficient, but we don't really care about number at this point. We could have the well here. Or the well here, actually. It would cover all the houses, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
and wouldn't look ugly either. That's the thing, the well looks nice. So it's okay to be outside of the church. There we go. So a lot of unused space, but it's the rich section. They don't want to be packed in. Although they do need a market, but markets aren't exactly a low-end thing, especially these days. Markets are becoming more and more a trend thing, at least in the UK. Which is kind of a shame, because I, I grew up basically purchasing all of my food and such from markets. These days, though, it's a bit more difficult. Well, if we've got that there, how about we add a tavern next to it? That would make sense, wouldn't it, the market and the tavern being next to each other? I also think we should add a baker's, because I'm sure they'd like fresh bread in this area. Put this there. Put that there. One further. So once again, there's going to be disused space, but I want it to look nice. There's the thing. The only thing you currently don't have is charcoal. Well, very soon we're going to have the market, which is going to be right next to this. There we go. That would look better, though, wouldn't it? Having a road between the market would look better. Then we have the road going through here. There we go. Then we just need to figure out how we're going to use this section in the middle. You both hungry? There's like food right here. It's not a long walk. I've built that very weirdly, haven't I? Yes, I have. Could have just done the bridge here. Of course, we want the gap there, though. We still want the drawbridge and that line so that we can put boats through. Hello, merchant. Nothing of use. Meanwhile, on our new island, I'm realising just how much space we actually have here. Which is good, since we want a lot of people here to tax. We'll add the taxing buildings, though, at the end, so that will come later. Right now, though, I do sort of want to remove all of these. Am I still transferring some tools? I know I need some tools, at least. Ah, I'm not. Okay, you. Tools. Uh, pick up five. The reason, of course, is I need to destroy some of those rocks, and that requires tools. You. Tools. And, as usual, five. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing. I need to rename this dock, because... I've inadvertently, accidentally, allowed them to match. So right now we have Doc A, Gamma, Delta, and 2 Junior. Well, Gamma and Delta are also both in the Greek alphabet. Just so happens that Delta is also in the military alphabet, which I was going with. So, Delta here needs a new name. You know what? Something really simple. Since this is number four, four. But not the number variety. So we have... Ah, uh, oh, where's A? A, 2 Junior, because he got burnt down. Gamma, 4. Oh, that's annoying. The tavern doesn't actually reach the cottages. I misread that horribly, so goodbye. New tav. Okay, so that can be replaced with a baker. Which makes sense, next to the market. Then the new tavern can just go here. There we go. Problem solved. Still don't know what to use the rest of this space for, though. Do you have anything small and decorative, maybe? Got statues. Definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely want a statue. Now, I'm fairly certain, though, one of these grows trees. Oh, trees! Why not just have trees there? That'd look pretty, wouldn't it? Like a little mini park thing. Could have it there. Then have trees. Yeah, actually, that'd look nice. So. Remove you two. Yeah, somewhere to drink and sit down next to it, have a bite to eat, and then all of this land in the middle will become a little mini forest for, for our residents to enjoy. Ah, uh, now back to the poor region. 
So in the Thor region, obviously, we want hovels. We want places for them to stay, which they're not exactly going to love. Also, still not protected at all, though. Any Viking that actually gets through here is going to enter this section. Do I wall this off? I mean, I don't want it to look like it's walled off. There's the problem. But, at the same time, I do want it to be safe. Although it's hard to get to. I mean, it's really hard to get to. They can. I think I'll leave it for now. Because only the poor region would be raised. And it makes sense that this region of people who apparently, for some reason, our kingdom just does not care about, wouldn't have exactly the best security. So first of all, though, I want to add a market still. Obviously, there would be markets in the poor region because people need to eat. And people need to try and make a living, even though apparently we're being very cruel about it. Put that straight there, right next to everything else. Also, I don't think they would have the stone roads everyone else is having. And a new mana for us to tax later. Food's still going okay? Yep, food is absolutely fine, although it won't be now adding more people. So, these farms will eventually go away. Really, Plague? It's like the one island which doesn't have a doctor. Plague Island? Still need to name the island as well. Well, incoming Vikings, and I have no idea where they're going, but if we're going with what's been happening recently, it will only be the new island. Well, were we correct? In fact, what I should do is turn on yours as well. Oh, already armed, just not in range. Okay. Uh, which island are you going for? Either way, both islands are in range. That's a brave single boat, isn't it? Hi, dragon. Dragon? Uh, dragon! Guys! The big thing which is spitting fire on things. Kill it. Thank you. Oh, now it's dead. And once again, the water turns to ice. Now, I was about to name one of the manors, so this one fit way too well. Dr. Sean's Manor. So... They asked for a manor near a hospital, and since we've just built this, I think that was a little bit too fitting to not use. And next up, the Daedric Prince of Madness's manor, of course, because that's someone who you'd want to live in your kingdom. But it's a prince, so naturally it needs to be in the rich section. Just makes sense. You know what? I think we should get building before this lovely statue starts filling everywhere with trees. Um, also, the statue will make people in the poor section a little bit happier, which is a shame. <laughs> but I guess we just have to live with that. So, first of all, I want this corner to be done. Then I would like some hovels. First two hovels sorted. Weirdly enough, I think one thing the rich and the poor will have to share is alcohol. Because it just makes complete sense, really, doesn't it? Now, I don't really want this in the poor section, because it will make them happier, but it just fits the theme too well. Put it there. Then more... No, that's... A... Actually, you know what? Yeah, one stone road there, so it looks like, at one point, this wasn't so dilapidated, and then it just sort of happened. Then shove two more hovels... No, one hovel there. Yeah, then hovels here like this. I put those the wrong way around... Why do you keep defaulting the other way? Normally you save in the rotation. Road, road. Miss a road for the last one. We do want a road going for the... Dock at least. Then, around the dock, these three just kind of shoved in there. I do want some variety, though. How about a cottage here? Someone who isn't quite as poor as the rest. Maybe helps run the gate, helps run the market and such. Have him there. 
and actually give him his own stone road. Destroy this one. Don't obviously don't want a library. Um, don't want a hospital. Don't really want the barracks, but my god, does that fit well? What else do we really want? Here's the problem. There's not enough I really want in here, then. A mason might look okay. And we do need one in this area to help protect the walls. Yeah, a mason wouldn't be too bad. Although it is skilled work. We do want the charcoal maker, and once again, I want this somewhere to really annoy people. <laughs> so perhaps like there, then put a house here, which will make this one more cramped. Then a house next to the charcoal maker, because they need to put it somewhere. Then I'm going to put down one more cottage, and this will be for the dock. Essentially the dock owner. But it still needs to be a bit meh. So... Could put a piece of moat here, like it's just ruined. Just waterlogged. Yeah, okay. The start of the poor section is now underway. How's this doing over here? Good, we've got enough money again to start building more piers. 100 happiness? Oh, yeah, dragon kill. I forgot about that. Uh, you two can go away. Let's get everyone building. Food is going up. Yes, it is. Excellent. Time for a bit of an edgy name here. Shadow Dwellers Manor. Now, this one was also handpicked. Normally, I put the names in a randomizer. That way, it's a lot safer. But, because this manor is going to be stuck between a cottage and all of these walls, it's going to be completely in the shade. And so, the edgy name of Shadow Dwellers Manor was just far too perfect. So, there we go. Now, someone also did ask, what would happen if a manor burnt down, or a house, or whatever, and I had to rebuild it? Because the rebuild would, of course, reset the name. Well, I'm going by a very simple bit of logic. The fire will kill the inhabitants. And because of that, they need a new occupant. So the new manor will have a new person. And look, trees are being formed. How about the other statue? Queen... Barbara. Could go there. Does that look too crowded, though? I do kind of like this... Uh, see, I like this being completely covered in trees and such, but if I put this anywhere else, it looks like it's a bit of a mismatch. At the same time, though, if, if I put it over here, it doesn't affect all of the poor section anymore, which is nice. Damn, that's so cruel, isn't it? But... Oh, I like it there. I really do. I'll put that down to the comments. What do you think? With the other statue or to the side? Oh, wow. That looks better than I expected. Oh, yeah. You're not happy. Wait, wait. How do you not have access to charcoal? Does charcoal not make you unhappy? Yes, it does. Residents dislike the, <laughs> the smoke from the charcoal makers. Wait. Moats make them ha I didn't think that counted. Residents enjoy the nearby body of water. Oh, if I knew that, we could put... Oh, I'm sorry, this cottage. <laughs> oh, no, we can't... Great. I... No, yeah, we, we can put that there, can't we? Because it's the pier. That would not be difficult to... Um... Oh, wait. Click. There we go. 105 happiness for this guy. He's got his own little bit of um, river here that just pours in. In fact, I think I might cover up this then, so it looks more like it's his. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I will put one of the peers back. Yeah, so it looks like it's his personal. There we are. Doctor's got a very, very lovely house. Ma like, over maximum happiness. I still think I need some more people, though. We are definitely lacking on sheer number of people here. So far, it's just two manners. Let's let's put another one here. Hmm. 
But if I, uh, but then if I have the other statue, where will it go? Maybe over here. Oh yeah, maybe maybe we can have another statue area here, similar to the first. Yes, just make sure not to cut down all the trees. Maybe that would be an idea. So that's the third idea then for the comments. We have putting the statue facing the other one, putting it over here in the corner, so making it more of a corner piece. It's like centerpiece, but not, I guess. Or having a second area like this there, and that would be lovely and symmetrical. Oh no, I might be taking it back with the vote. <laughs> and then put the road there. And once again, what we can do is make this into a bit of water, which I think should give the bonus. I'm hoping. No charcoal is too far away. Kind of weird since you have charcoal right here. Well, I guess it's not really getting any wood stock, is it? Oh, actually, there's a good thing. There's a good idea, since we constantly run out of space. Um, this won't be used too often, but, but it will be used near the end. How about just a random stockpile? Just there. You know, it's not particularly pretty. Just a couple of stockpiles here and there. Just building materials lying around. One here, too. Because that would also help out the charcoal maker. But saying that, we don't really care if these people don't have charcoal. That's the problem. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know exactly. Okay, I think I have named all of the buildings here except for this one cottage. Well, at least in terms of where people can live. So, we have Poor Man's Paradise, Rowan Westoff's Hovel, Colin Larkin's Hovel, Always Bored Prime's Hovel, The House of Doom, Rex's Hovel, Hobbit Hole, The Holy Hovel, Old Man Jenkins' House, just cottage, because I want to name this one something special, because it has the dock, and so far I've not seen one which would fit perfectly. We have the Turtle Guild Secret Hideout, we have Johnson's Hovel, and we have Rachel's Hovel. There we go. And full names for the ones I've shortened, you can read them yourself. So there we are. That took a little bit, especially since I put them in the randomizer every time, except for the Poor Man's Paradise, because I felt it kind of fit with the market. I kind of want to put another piece of water here. I like the idea of it being waterlogged, or some of the piers being damaged. We still need a load more names, though. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this in terms of spacing. There's the problem with hobbles being so small. I could do this. Although I could be really mean and just shove hobbles all in here with absolutely no care in terms of the road, or broken road. Can you not rotate this? Why can't I rotate that piece of road? I didn't even know that the road is non-manually -ro rotatable. That's annoying. Um, oh, there we go, though, if we stick it on one way, it will stay on that. How about we do this? Put two pieces of road there, and one there, and it's as if all the rest is kind of just broke off. And because of that, people have just built their little shanty houses around it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Don't really mind which way these face, although these two are now facing different ways, which is kind of annoying, but don't really care that much. At least now it's a pattern, one way, then the other way. Let's put you like this. Same with you. You like that. Then you, then you. So it looks like it's at least following the contours of the area. Um, this will be one in the corner. And then you two both like that. Don't know about there. Could put another stockpile there instead. Don't want to use up this space. I'd imagine this cottage will at least have enough power to reserve that area. Same with the mason. Kind of want another charcoal maker though. I, I like the flame effect. Yep, I'm going to remove that and add a charcoal maker. I'm like everyone upset, but I like the smoke and the fire. It makes it look a bit more downtrodden, you know? It's so cruel how we're just going for how much can we make these people upset? I mean, to, to be fair, though, the people over here won't be too happy when I eventually start taxing them at maximum rate, but still. Everywhere here is named, yeah? 
Excellent. Time to finish off this wall. And I've decided to put a hovel in that one place because then it turns the whole area into an area which you can only access via the alleys between the houses. No. Yes. I want it to be this high because that way I can go over the gates. Shame you can't build the wall like this. I'm also tempted to just block off this section of pier. Sorry, of moat. The boat should, should still be able to get in. It just separates it from this section, which means it'll be even harder for Vikings to get through. Because then they have to go through this, which is three sections of four ballista towers. But I like how it looks so separate. That's the thing. Um, bird, what are you doing? Um, okay, there you go. Okay, that was an interesting bird. I wonder if a single farm here would look nice. Almost decorative. Don't know. Really don't know. So if I did have the statue over here... We could put something else there, maybe like another bakery. Or another tavern if we built some house. Oh yeah, I wonder how long the rich area is going to go. I kind of want this whole area to be rich, so I think I'm going to extend the wall and block off both sides, and then this will just be the pompous area of the empire. So remove these at least. Yeah, I really think that's where we're going to put the next statue. It just... Oh, but I've already asked the comment section, and I do like your opinion, but I think this would look so much better. Then we have some more houses there. Yeah, and that way this also frees up this section for even more homes. Then that could be a manor. Don't necessarily need to use the space behind it. I mean, we could instead just um, break down some of the piers. Also, I just realised that is not going into the manor itself. Oh, that's why. No matter where you place it, it's not going to go into the actual main section there. But it's going to that door, so that's fine. That does mean that I'm going to have to do that. Would they really want neighbours? Actually, no, they would, because neighbours give them happiness. This one is actually suffering from minus happiness, because it has no neighbours. So, sure. And this area behind it could become a giant pool or something. I don't know, it's too much space. I could have a shared pool if I put this like this, or even like that, and turn this back into water. It'd also give them the bonus happiness. I just don't want to put them right up against the wall. So what I could do, maybe, is make this wall too thick. Same over here. In fact, we can just keep this too thick. Then it would only be like a little moat at the back. Almost like a little river in their backyard. Because otherwise it's going to be just piers. Which is less appealing, really, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. But right now, I am afraid, I am really all out of time for today's video. I feel like we've got very little done today, which I do say far too often. But I really feel like that today. But... We've named a load of houses, we've started the poor district, we've started the rich district, we've started a lot of projects basically today. And honestly, the poor district actually turned out way better than I expected. I am tempted to add a pier here. It will make this cottage happier. Actually, what we could do is maybe put a well there. I know it will make everyone happier, which is against the point, but at the same time, I don't want this place to actually burn down. Fine. I don't know how well they use a um, pier, sorry, a moat over the well. So putting that there just safeguards a bit of this area, which if it goes up in flames, this whole area is going down. So that would be cool, but I would like to avoid it if possible. I've got to say. 
So with all those projects started, I am afraid I am really all out of time for today's video. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Kingdoms and Castles is a series you wish to see continued in the future. And in the next episode, I will need a load more names, so please feel free to tell me them in the comments. And if you want a specific area, like in the poor region or on the island, please also put that on your comments. It makes it a lot easier for me to search through them. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. I like how our, our little legion is growing.